Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my labour and delivery story with my daughter. This was like four years ago exactly and I've never done one and I loved watching these during my pregnancy so I thought I would do one because it'd be so nice to like have the memories and just keep it in in encapsulated somewhere just so that I can remember it and more now that I'm having a little boy I didn't want like my memories to get jumbled up and I don't know they might do I have the worst memory on earth so I thought I would do it before I give birth and then I can do my next labor and delivery story but yes I hope that you enjoy it to start off with, when I gave birth to my daughter, I was 19 years old. I was really, really young. I actually found out I was pregnant at 18. So I was definitely a little baby, for sure. But, um, I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. She's like my life. So my pregnancy actually went really good. I had no issues. I had no, like, diabetes. There was nothing wrong with me the whole pregnancy so i was like low risk so i got to 40 weeks and i turned 40 weeks on a sunday um the 15th of september of 2013 my due date and i had an appointment with a midwife on a monday there was no tingles there was no pains there was nothing i with lily i never even waddled i definitely find myself waddling this time around so i'm quite scared but it, like i was completely fine i just had this massive bump in front of me so i on the monday i went in to see my midwife and on that appointment they measured me they um did everything i had they had to do and everything seemed fine so she just kind of sent me home and said that within a week in a week so in the following Monday I would have another appointment and they would offer me a membrane sweep if I wanted it it wasn't an essential but it was if I wanted it I could have it and then we would discuss a um, induction uh, just because at that point I would have been 41 weeks and one day but I was pretty confident that it wouldn't get to that point I feel like all mums are I just thought it's going to happen before then like I can't go to 41 weeks so I went home it was completely fine and for the whole week I went on walk but nothing happened I wore my most comfortable trainers I couldn't eat spicy food but I tried everything else under the sun and I found myself at my 41 weeks and one day appointment completely helpless there was like nothing and I was quite anxious because um as you do I googled membrane sweeps and I remember there was this review from a lady on like a, some kind of like parenting website and she was saying that her membrane sweep was the most painful experience she'd ever had that she said she wanted to die like I was like oh my god like I can't do this like I was really really scared when I walked in there but I felt like I wanted her out and if it was really painful I could always ask her to stop so I just thought I'm going to go with it however she offered it to me and I said yes and she did it and it was completely fine I mean it is uncomfortable but it wasn't painful at all and I have a pretty low pain threshold so I was so happy she said that I would probably have some kind of pain within the next like couple of hours like just some discomfort that it was possible but that it would be fine so I thought okay that's fine popped myself off we discussed induction and I was going to get induced on Thursday I had to go up to the hospital on Wednesday morning um, just to do like blood tests and like to do like my um, then they had to do like a scan or something like that and then on the Thursday I would get induced I'd given up hope that I would go naturally so 
I just thought I'd go to my appointment on Wednesday and then I'll have her on Friday, on Thursday, the 26th of September, at least, or the 27th. So I was just quite looking forward to that and I just let, let, let it go. Um, but the second that we left the hospital, I had like cramping, like it felt like, like, like I was going to get my period and it just felt quite sore and it got a little bit worse so we went home and I went straight to sleep and I woke up about 10 o'clock at night and the pains definitely were a little bit stronger like they felt quite sore so I thought oh this like I don't know like this doesn't feel normal so I started timing them and I think they were they were lasting like 20 seconds and they were like 15 minutes apart so it was nothing for me to like do um so I kind of tried to go back to sleep but I couldn't because every 15 minutes I would have this like pain so I started walking around and by like midnight they were like seven minutes apart like they were really really painful and I called the delivery suite and they said like unless you're like five minutes apart lasting a minute don't come in like we're just gonna send you back home and I thought oh we're like all right so I got in the bath I got out the bath and I was just thinking like I just want this pain to like go away um which obviously isn't what I wanted because I wanted the baby out but I just wanted like to like go to sleep to have some sleep so at like one in the morning they hadn't increased they were still about seven minutes apart and they were still lasting about 30 seconds um, but I thought I can't do this so we got a taxi and we went straight into the hospital when I got there, um, they saw me. It actually didn't take that long for them to see me. They saw me, it wasn't very busy, and they and they said that I was only one centimeter dilated and that I was going to have to go back home. So I was in such bad pain, but I went back home, we got sent home. I tried to sleep it off. At this point, it's like, four in the morning maybe um I couldn't go back to sleep because it was quite sore and then the morning came and the pain completely stopped like there was no pain it was as if I just imagined this pain the night before like it was so weird the exact same thing happened um the whole day I'd had no contractions then at night I had contractions again and I was like like what is happening like these contractions seem to only be happening at night and I felt quite like played with so I was like I'm not going in the hospital they're just gonna send me home and I that night they were actually a lot stronger and I just wanted it to like get on like at this point because I'd already had it the night before I just wanted the pain to like continue and get stronger and get like like closer together so we could just go to the hospital when they get settled in but it didn't and then it was Wednesday morning I think Junior had work that morning because he was meeting me at the hospital so I got on the bus contracting every seven minutes for 45 for 30 to 45 seconds really and like I would have to like breathe through it and I remember everyone would like look at me. I mean, it's like nine in the morning on a Thursday. Everyone's going to work. So it was quite packed. And everyone's just like, oh my gosh, like this woman is going to give birth on this bus. And everyone looked so scared. So we went upstairs to reception to get like, to tell them that I had an appointment booked in. And I remember I got a contraction and that's as I was talking to her. And I just kind of took a step back and just like breathed through it. And then I went back and I started talking to her as normal. And she was like, 
are you alright? And I'm like, yeah, no, like, I'm fine. I just want to, like, book in. Like, I've got an appointment. It's at 9 o'clock. Blah, 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 blah. And she's like, okay. And then I got another one. And then I just breathed through it again. And she's like, I think you're in labour. Like, you're going to have to go to the labour ward. And I was like, like, no. Like, I was there yesterday and they sent me home. I'm supposed to get induced tomorrow. So, like, don't worry about it. Like, we'll just do that. She's like, no, like please go downstairs, I was like, like, I'm gonna miss my appointment, like, I started to, like, have, like, a full-on breakdown, now I was thinking, this lady's gonna make me miss my appointment, I'm gonna go downstairs, they're gonna say I'm not in labour, and then they're gonna say that I missed my appointment for my induction, and then they're not gonna induce me tomorrow, and I'm not gonna have my baby tomorrow, and at this point, like, a midwife appeared out of nowhere, and she's like, okay, we're gonna go, like, downstairs, and we're just gonna check you and if you're not then you can come back up so i was thinking all right like fine like we'll go downstairs i'll play ball but i knew they wouldn't send me back upstairs so we went downstairs to the delivery suite and she checked me and she's like actually we're gonna keep you in just like stay in your room they made me like a little wristband and everything like it was all very official and i was like i couldn't believe it like i was actually gonna stay in the hospital so she was like just like try to like walk around the hospital and just come back when you can't walk around anymore we will check you again so i thought okay like that's fine so we just went for a walk i'm actually so glad that the hospital went busy that day i think if it was busy they would have sent me home which would have been scary. Anyways, I walked around the hospital till about one. I was like, I'm hungry. And there was a Marks and Spencer's cafe. Uh, so we sat down to eat. And I remember I got this like little sushi tray and I actually wish I got something more substantial because this would have been my last meal for like probably 36 hours i would have no food after this and as i was eating it i couldn't handle the pain like i was physically like i can't do it we have to go back upstairs so i didn't finish it we went upstairs and then she was like actually i'm just going to check you she was like well you're fa like you're four centimeters dilated and you're 100 percent faced which i still don't know what it means but it sounded like good news and she was like you're moving into the labor ward um like you're in actually you're in active labor and i was like <laughs> like this is actually happening i was so excited at this point i've called my mum because i walked into the hospital with like no bags no car seat i had absolutely nothing except for my maternity notes they took me into my delivery suite and um Mid the midwife came and she said uh, the anesthesiologist has one person before you and then it's your turn there's this massive needle that they put in your hand I actually still have a scarf from it I don't know if you'll be able to see it yeah it's just there that little scar um that is from that from the needle um I feel like it was painful but he did it during a contraction so I was more like worried about the contraction that I was about the needles and I am really scared of them so it wasn't that bad the only bad thing is that because it'd been there for so long the skin healed around it when they pulled it out Ugh. anyways she did the epidural and it was completely fine and I felt like I was in heaven, like I was just relaxing. I couldn't eat anything even though I was really hungry. And they numb the area so you can't actually feel the epidural. Everything's just kind of a blur from this point. But at this point it's like midnight on Wednesday. And like nothing was happening. So she was like... I'm gonna come back like she would come back every like hour so I couldn't sleep so she came back at five and she was like right at six o'clock we're going to start pushing I think I was like nine centimeters at this point I'm not really sure I don't think she told me um but I was like right in an hour this is happening 
I waited till six and at six o'clock she was like you're 10 centimeters dilated you're ready to start fishing so I was like oh my gosh like this is happening like I was so excited I was really tired but I was ready to do it so we started pushing the next contraction I started pushing again and and again and again and again and then the midwife started to get really excited which started to get me really excited so I did I started to like pant and like nothing was happening so she was trying to like pull Lily out by her head um and like her shoulders were stuck like they would not come out so the midwife kind of panicked and she was like press the red button so they pressed the red button and like this like world of like midwives and doctors and people in lab coats like rushed in the room there was this like red light going on and there was this like loud noise and I panicked and I just pushed like I gave the biggest push I could give and she just kind of came out as I gave the massive push but then that push cost me stitches yeah that push was painful um but I she was out at this point so I was really really happy then the midwife just kind of put her on my chest and as she put her on my chest I was like god like she is so heavy and like she felt so weighty on my chest like she'd been in my belly but I, I didn't feel like she'd felt that heavy inside me as she did like outside and um the midwife was like so proud of herself she was like i've never delivered such a big baby like let's weigh her so they took her to like weigh her obviously he was still in the room and she was four and a half kilos which is like nine pounds nine ounces and she, she was like absolutely massive and i was just like relaxing with my baby and just being with her and loving her and cuddling her and the midwife was like do you want to get in the shower and I was like, I can't feel my legs. And she was like, no, you'll be fine now. And I was like, okay. So she was like, just pop off the bed. So I did. And it was so weird because for like 16 hours, I hadn't felt my legs. And I got up. I actually don't remember when they took the epidural out. Like, I don't remember any of that. I remember them like stitching me up and me seeing the hook like going like up and down like they put this like blanket i guess you would say this like sheet of paper like green sheet over your legs um but i could see the like the needle but it's like a hook needle but it wasn't painful because obviously i'd had the epidural um and i got up yeah then after that at like midday I was discharged and allowed to go back home and I was just so happy like I feel like everything just happened so nicely and so well and that is the end of my birth story my labor and delivery story I really hope that you enjoy it and if you are pregnant about to give birth my best of luck you are going to be fine I was so scared and until my next video, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.